Hi viewers, it's Dave from Backtrails Territory here and once again I'm out at Bushlaw doing some hammock camping for a week. This morning I'm going to do a video review on one of my favourite pieces of hiking kit at the moment which is the Emergency Day Carry or EDC hammock by UK Hammocks and that's the hammock at the bottom of my setup here. I've also been testing uh, my new hammock out. This is the Expedition made by UK Hammocks and I'll be doing a full review on that a bit later on. Um, that's a seriously good piece of kit for um, Expedition camping. But back to the EDC. It's, it's a pod shaped hammock here. It fits quite a good niche within the um, backpacker or camping market. And then it fits a number of needs which is exactly what you need with your kit. A, it's an emergency hammock. You can fit a person in that. I weigh 94 kilos at the moment and I've quite comfortably slept in that. The main use I use it for is what I have at the moment. I'm using it as a basically a gear shelf. I've got my food bags and a couple of equipment bags in the uh, waterproof bags inside that. And as you can see it uh, keeps it off the ground and away from the, the damp and also keeps um, insects or other animals out of it. Thirdly, it's very, very quick to set up so it can be used as a hammock chair if you're on a uh, short trail break. I've also got, would have seen in one of my other reviews, the Jungle Chair, once again by UK Hammocks. I'm a big fan of their kit. I uh, love the Jungle Hammock, that's being used as a to store my backpack at the moment. Uh, only issue with the Jungle Hammock, it does require three pieces of wood to set up so it's not it's the kind of thing you'd set up for a base camp not for a five or ten minute or twenty minute break in the walk on the trail whereas the EDC version very very quick to set up and you can literally set that up in probably 30 seconds take it down in the same time so if you just want to get a load off your feet for a, a few minutes on the trail this is ideal to do it not sure what kind of nylon it's made of but it's a uh, very very it's lightweight pretty strong and also has a zip running the full length. As you can see, a fair bit of room in there and definitely human sourced. Not sure what the maximum rating is, um, 110 kilos is ringing a bell. I'll, I'll confirm that and uh, post that up on the review. Basic setup is simply the, the hammock body with a Amsteel line. Now Amsteel's got a very, very high uh, braking strain, making it pretty good for this. I've got mine set up basically because this isn't going to be personal load bearing on this trip, just the uh, loop and carabiner setup. Obviously, if I was um, going to be using it to support myself, I'd tie it up in some other suspension mechanism. But basically, all I do is throw a loop around the tree, click the carabiner in, and we're good to go. And I can raise and adjust that depending on um, how much sag or height difference is going to be in my hammock. So I'll take it down now and go through the uh, complete setup. Okay, here's the EDC folded up. Be advised, it doesn't come with a bag. This is a spare. I think it's a Sea to Summit one from one of those small um, tech towels that I had lying around. As you can see, probably about the size of a softball. It'll um, squeeze down a little bit smaller. So perfect size for your pack. Uh, you could probably even keep that in our cargo shorts. So, way to set it up. Basically, um, already done one. Load bearing knot of your choice on a tree. Just um, and from there, just drag it out. Okay, other end's been tied off with a modified uh, bowline and hitch. Here we have the EDC and it's um, basic setup. I mentioned before, full length zipper. And adequate room in there for a person or, um, as I mentioned, you know, 100 kilos of gear conceivably. If I was intending to use this on a day trip, I'd actually use um, a lightweight set of tree huggers rather than tying the suspension straight to the, the tree just to minimise the damage. I didn't bring on this trip as I wasn't intending to um, support my own weight in it. 
So now I'll just do a quick um, seat test to make sure it's all all tied off securely. And there we go, that's like 94 kilos of um, Aussie in it. As you can see, that's uh, supporting my weight, no drums at all. It's very, very comfortable. Um, ideal for use as a uh, short break on the trail and you could easily do overnight trips on this provided you weren't in any adverse type of weather. And if you were using it in an emergency situation in an environment with um, a lot of bugs, it's quite easy to zip yourself in it up to your head. You, I certainly wouldn't be um, totally encapsulating myself in it. I'm not sure how breathable the, the nylon would be, but that would keep the majority of them off. On the subject of bugs, I was having a think a couple of weeks ago back home in um, the Northern Territory about how I would use this on a minimalist overnight trip. Um, a, I'd bring the tree huggers along, and B, I'd basically tie a ridge line just above the, the hammock itself. With a, uh, I've got a single person mosquito net that would uh, slide onto that quite adequately. And then a week ago, I saw on the uh, UK hammock site, uh, Matt has done exactly that. He's basically modified a EDC hammock, exact same type, with a lightweight mosquito net. They, he calls it the uh, BOB, or I think the bug out um, hammock, and his design was to provide it for um, a customer who wanted it in the emergency bags for some pilots in case they had to sit down in an emergency. So rather than me mucking around with it, as soon as the, um, sort of the bug out version's on the market, I'll certainly be taking up on one of these. But um, with a little bit of ingenuity, anybody could turn this into a uh, quite a comfortable sleeping system overnight. Wouldn't use it for the extended trips, um, but certainly for an overnighter, um, it's ideal. Price in the UK at the moment is £15, and I think it was a whole £7 uh, to get that shipped to myself, and that was with um, another piece of kit from UK Hammocks. So there you have it, the EDC Hammock. Um, can't praise this highly enough, I love it, and it's always in my kit, no matter how minimalist I'm going. Thanks for watching.